is Adam Biggers, and I'm headed down to East Lansing to meet up with Keenan Wetzel, Michigan State Spartans basketball player. We're going to discuss his new short film in the works, The Cager. Check out his Kickstarter page for more information. Keenan, we're like a half mile away. Okay, cool. Yep, we'll see you soon. I'm Adam Biggers, and I'm here with Keenan Wetzel. Keenan, you developed a short film called The Cager. Tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Uh, the Cager is about a former college basketball player who gets hurt, uh, and he has to kind of decide his next path in life. And he's never really thought about anything other than basketball. So it follows him uh, in one day of his life, and he has an experience with uh, a stranger, and that kind of changes his perspective on life and family, and what the meaning is to be happy. So. It's, it's really just about that crossroads in your life um, when you're not sure what you're supposed to do. Sounds like you have a former teammate involved, Delvon Rall. Uh, for those who don't know, Delvon's pursuing an acting career now. How did you and Delvon hook up for this project? Well, when I first got to Michigan State, um, I knew Delvon was a was an actor. He, and, uh, and he had just found out that he was going to be able to play his last year. So it's kind of always our kind of dream to kind of work together. And you know, three years later, I decided that I think it was time to you know, my skills were at the point where I could make a short film. So I decided to um, to try that. And uh, I wrote a short film and I had him in mind, but the film was gonna happen with or without him. I approached him, he's really excited about it. And uh, from then it's been about two or three months and we decided to work together. And we're, um, now we're just in that process of fundraising to work together, yeah. What made you choose Delvon? You, obviously you have a lot of friends, you hit, you know, played with several other guys. What was it about Delvon that made you feel like he was right for the role? Sure. Well, well, first it is is that is that Delvon's a highly certified actor. He's a SAG certified actor. He's in Los Angeles. He's been in feature on films. He's been in commercials. You know, for someone that's a 22 year old director, he's a he's a big name to work with. Uh, so, and that, and the fact that he was hurt and has the experience, and kind of delve into the main character Wesley Ray, and. Uh, actually feel the real emotions that are going on in the film, so it was kind of a no-brainer. Hey, I can come up with the character, I see somebody may remind you of someone in your own life. How did, how did Wesley come about? I think any character that you write um, is someone you know or a culmination of people you know. So I think, I wouldn't say there's specific people, I just think there's um, just a life experience to see um, how people struggle with um, what to do after fame or what to do uh, next in their life. So Wesley is just a, um, a prideful person whose kind of ego has always been built up to be this NBA player, fame, fortune. And um, you know when that doesn't happen for him, when he gets hurt, uh, he's five years older and he really hasn't changed. And he's very selfish and he has a family now. He has a daughter and he has a um, he, you know kind of a girlfriend that's the wife, uh, you know, mother of his child. So um, you know he's he's deciding what's important. In life. You mentioned, with you know, we don't want to give too much of it away, but you mentioned that it's about a, a man coming to grips with no longer being able to play basketball. Basketball is not a part of his life anymore, and he has to kind of find out, you know, hey, what do I do now? How important is it for athletes to realize, even guys who make it to the college level, this isn't forever. You have to have a backup plan. How important is that to emphasize? It? I think that's the main message of the film. The main message of the film is that that everything is finite and it ends. So I think that's something I've found out that a lot of um, you know, kids are dealing with. And uh, that's all they play on. Every kid that comes to a Michigan State or Duke or North Carolina, they expect to play in the NBA. And when that doesn't happen, what's your backup plan? And uh, where should the importance be? Is it still on money and fame? And so that's something I've always been kind of interested in. And I think it was, uh, I think it's a relevant topic today to kind of uh, discuss. And I think this film opens that discussion. Does this, does this film kind of reflect maybe your view and your experience of basketball a little bit? Is this part of you, not only, uh, you know, kind of a character outside of yourself? Is there a little bit of Keenan in this guy? Um, I'd say the, the biggest part that's Keenan is that it's like anyone else. He's trying to decide what is important. Uh, and I think, obviously, at 22 years old, you kind of come to the crossroads, um, graduating from college, like, what are you supposed to do next? What's going to give you meaning? And I think that's within the character. And, uh, you know, he's dealing with more of a decision between family and uh, 
you know, fame and money. So that's the, the, the main focus of the film. First, I'd say um, artistically, the film's going to be shot um, in a way that it's going to feel very similar to like a uh, 1950s, uh, 1960s style because I've always been enamored with the way that um, they dressed so well. They men wore hats, they wore suits, and uh, it was a sense of pride even if they, you know, weren't wealthy or were well to do. So that's kind of how Wes reflects his feeling of, you know, he feels like he's better than the situation he's in. Um, I think we're going to touch on um, some very important topics socially that are uh, relevant. It has a it has a, a feeling of faith. It has a feeling of family. It has a feeling of uh, fatherhood. These are all important themes within the movie. Like you said, we're uh, live on Kickstarter right now. You can go to Kickstarter.com. You can search uh, in the search tab uh, the Cager, and it'll come up. Uh, we have about 22 days left to go, and uh, you know, we're excited for the end, for the end product. And, and you guys are on Twitter as well, correct? Right, you can follow us on Twitter at The Cager Film. Um, and uh, we'd love to have you like our Facebook page also, and you can search that by The Cager. And, uh, you know, we hope you can be a part of our uh, project. Excellent, I appreciate your time. Hey, Thank thanks, you. appreciate it. Okay, this is Adam Biggers. I want to say thanks to Keenan Wetzel for uh, writing us down and filling us in on The Cager. Check out his Kickstarter page.